back from DSGN again, and I want to make a video on <coughs> on building a list of sellers. This is going. I'll try to make this video as quick as possible. But as you guys know, I stress that the building blocks or the tree of life or whatever you want to call it of us selling on a daily of me selling on a daily basis is my list of sellers, right? This saves me time, this saves me thinking, this saves me worrying about if I'm going to sell. So I basically have a, a list of competing sellers and I just take their top items consistently, right? I'm talking about a list of about 200 sellers. Um, so this video, I'll, I'll do a video explaining why, but this video is just about how to build those sellers. So you log into therapy and you go into in-depth research. and then um, competitor research. In competitor research you put in a seller. Classic 365. 30 days. Hit search. First of all let me check to see what type of sales this guy is doing. And the last 30 days will be a bit low because of Christmas, because a lot of people stop right after Christmas. As you can see, he sold 56,000 in the past 30 days, which is not bad at all, but 348 listings. 100% sell to rate, meaning that every single thing that he listed sold in the past 30 days. This is what we're talking about. So then we go into, you want to look at his best selling items, right? On this tab, you just have over it, search sellers who sold items like this. So basically what it's doing is searching for sellers who, you, who are using that same, that same um, title. Alright? So you have Classic 365 who sold 11 of them at 168. You have this guy who sold 7 at 197. And these other guys, one sold 3, 3, 2 and that type of stuff. Now you want to go and hover over some of the guys and search, hover over like the second user and search, search all items by the seller. What that will do is give us the basic information that we got from like the classic 65 guys. So in the past 30 days this person sold 4,000. It's only 38 listings. He has a 50% sell to rate. It's not the best. I usually like to have sellers that sold at least 5,000. But that would work because he has a 50% sell through rate. So I could take some of his listings. And that's how I build my that's how I start to build my list, right? Then I could go and look at the next person, Royal Bazaar. Let's search Nest Deals. I'm just randomly you could take everyone, but I'm just randomly taking your smart shopper. Just to show you what's going on, right? So let me see if any of these pages have, have loaded here. Okay, so this Nest Deals guy, 2,800 listings, 99% sell through rate. He sold 127,000 in past 30 days. I'm definitely going to add him to my list. Another one. 900 listings, 82% sell through rate, 91,000 past 30 days. Another guy that's going to be added to my list. So as you can see, in a matter of minutes, I have three guys, three competing drop shippers, right? If we go back to the first guy that we found, if you look at his top selling items, You, you could do the same thing for his items. So he's the only person using this exact um, title, which is interesting. Strange, but interesting. Same with this other one. Wow, okay. Well, he doesn't have a lot of top items. 
I know this item, so let me just search it just to see if I get any any good sellers. Come on. So it seems like all the guys using this title aren't selling a whole lot, but I'm still going to check them out to see what type of numbers they're doing. This guy only sold 300 bucks. Let's get rid of him right away. <laughs> this guy sold a thousand. Not someone I want to follow. Okay, let's okay so let's and even with the classic 365 you, you don't have to do only one item you can do this item search all sellers you can do this item you can do pretty much all the items okay and keep going that way and I've, when you guys watch this video you want to, to um you want to actually do this yourself so you get a hang of it let's see what snow 328 is selling 3,000, not that much, but he has a 100% sell-through rate. I'll hold on to that. Fifty-four thousand in the past three days. I'll definitely hold on to that guy. Okay, I don't know if this is a drop shipper because his sales are two million. And what I will do with him so I can take him, save him for later. But you could also go into eBay, advanced search, search by seller, just to see if you can figure out if he is a drop shipper. Let's see the type of items he's selling. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'll have to do a little more digging into all of this. But some of this stuff looks like drop. Like this looks like a Walmart item. But again, I could be wrong. But when I see those type of numbers, this guy sold 2 million in the past 30 days and 26,000 listings, it's hard for me to believe it's a real drop shipper. So that might be a waste of time. Um, but yeah, and as you see, so you basically build up this list New and sealed 277,000. So as you can see in a couple minutes, I've built up six sellers. If I'm not sure he's a dropshipper, I can just jump into eBay real quick and see if he is a seller. See if he is a dropshipper by just looking up, like search in the description on one or two of his items. But chances are if you're using the titles of dropshippers, you'll find other dropshippers. All right? Thanks for your time, guys. Hopefully that video was helpful. Um, comment, subscribe to YouTube channel. Let me know what you think. I mean, DSGN is open to new members, so shoot me an email at mark at And have a great day.